Uh, you know, this is one of you know my two, three minute quick hits that I usually do. I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Akakwadash. First and foremost, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who will teach well. Peace of salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. So, like I said, you know, this is one of them quick lessons I like to do. Um, sometimes they're just updates in the spirit, updates on what's going on around the world, and then sometimes they just mini ex exhortations or advices. In this case, it's going to be like a mini advice or whatnot. As you can see, what I got on my screen, this is um, <clears throat> a blacksmith forming or forging a, a Damascus chef knife. If you don't know anything about Damascus, it has like a little squiggly pattern to it in the steel. And there's a certain way that you have to do it. I'm not about to explain that. They explain it in the videos. I usually watch this guy right here if you want to go to his page. But pretty much the reason I'm bringing this out, I usually watch these type of videos between two, three times a month. Um, because it, it makes me understand how we're crafted, how the Lord crafts us. So with that being said, what is that? Zechariah 13. All right, there we go, Zechariah 13. So like you had to get it out of the NLT. Uh, Zechariah 13. We'll start at um, 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, of course, that's broken down as America, all the land is speaking about America, say if the Lord two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. So let's see what happens to that third part. It says, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord. How about Shemel Shai is my power. So the point I'm bringing out is he's going to put the third part through the fire and refine them. And good, a good video to watch are these these forging knives swords if um you know i just learned this recently the word katana is actually pronounced uh, katana not katana all right so katana um how they forge those but i like specifically watching damascus because is it you can make a regular knife or even forging a regular knife is it has a process, but Damascus has extra steps in it, and it's and it's fun to watch. Just you know, playing it. Just in the beginning, we were going to do clips. a half feather on each side, a feather pattern. So if you notice, you see the little squigglies. That's how he's forming that Damascus. Let me just show you the the end product here. You see, it kind of looks like this. I think in between that, he has like copper. Um, and then once he um, dips it, you're going to see that pattern come out. But hold on. I want to, I want y'all to see that. Not too bad. Now we're just going to sand it with some 1500 and it's going to go back in. After this, it's going to go into some hot coffee overnight to get the edge nice and black. Yeah, he what he's doing is etching it so that pattern can come out that he forged. There you go. See that? It goes from 
being this at one point all the way to the finishing product. And that's what the Lord is doing to us. So I like watching these videos and I, I recommend y'all watch them too. Sometimes they can be lengthy. I watch them through. I like it. I like it. Sometimes I'll, I'll put this on and I'll end up going to sleep to it. But it, it keeps me running my mind on how the Lord works on us. So whenever you're going through your tribulation and things that are nature, just understand that's the Lord crafting you. He's bringing you through the fire. And he's making you a better individual. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 3. And um, let's see. In 13, it says, Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire. And what it's meaning is that tribulation that you go through. And the fire shall try it every man's work of what sort it is especially when the day of trouble hits that's that's a different type of fire that we're going to go through i like to use this script verse 13 to 15 to when someone has an issue with the doctrine and they have a different type of doctrine or whatever i'll be like all right bet you know <laughs> how this is this nigga pimp c and it, um, he has a song called Stop Hating the South. And at the end of the song, he's like, you know, put all y'all rap tunes on one side of the store and put all the country rap tunes on the other side of the store. and We'll see who sells out first. That's kind of what this is saying. OK, R.U.I.C. and all these other camps that believe in one thing. Put your shit on one side. And we'll put the, the doctrine, our doctrine on one side and we'll see what comes out. It's going to get tried by the fire, and we're going to see who's who's resilient. You see what I'm saying? Who's going to fold? Who's going to crack? Okay? So I recommend y'all watch those. I don't want to be too long-witted. All right? Repent for your Howard Shots coming back sooner than what me and you believe. Shalom.